peace and blessings all i'm about to show y'all how to make some easy vegan superfood high vibrational sushi with like a thai peanut vibe but with no peanuts and no rice using some leftover coconut turmeric quinoa i had made the other day this is honestly a five minute meal and you too can remake this with any leftover greens you may have it doesn't have to be sticky rice so yes, you'll need your leftover quinoa, just about three quarter cups. I cooked mine with turmeric and coconut just to get a little extra medicine in there. A little anti-inflammatory. And then I have some cucumbers. Um, if you don't have cucumbers, you can use zucchini if you want. And then I have some tomatoes and fresh greens. Then you'll need some pesto sauce. I actually made mine myself with some freshly harvested herbs. And you'll also need some tahini, and sesame seeds are optional. So, let's get right into it. In order to give the quinoa kind of like a sticky rice vibe, we're going to put one tablespoon of tahini in there and mix it up. This is also going to give it that Thai peanut vibe as well. And then you're going to take your pesto sauce and about one tablespoon and mix the two together mix 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 add some love the whole purpose of giving it that sticky rice kind of vibe y'all know i love that word <laughs> it's so that the quinoa doesn't fall out of the sushi nori wrap when we start to fold it so yes sushi nori wrap very important ingredient we are going to spread our quinoa all over this nori add on some chopped greens as much as you want and then you're gonna add your tomatoes as much as you want and then you're gonna add your cucumber also as much as you want you don't want to add too many of all the ingredients though because then you might have some trouble folding and rolling so yes the next step is actually rolling this monstrosity it's not really monstrosity but you know that'd be dramatic sometimes yes rolling it if there's anything that has taught me patience and the importance of being gentle it is learning how to make sushi y'all you really have to be gentle with this you have to be patient you might want to use a nice sharp knife <laughs> um but yeah i've done this so many times before that i've learned how to just like flex with any knife that i have available but yes gentleness patience as you're doing it like i said it is a five minute meal but you don't have to rush it just be patient be present with the entire experience and it'll be well worth it don't rush be patient don't rush be patient it'll be worth it because you made it hey i just made a whole song look how beautiful wow we did this together you guys wow how beautiful wow literally all we need is a bit of sesame seeds black ones to be exact i made a little mini salad with the leftover greens tomatoes cucumbers and i added some coconut aminos instead of soy sauce and now for a taste test Yo. Disclaimer, this was all a freestyle. <laughs> I have never made sushi using tahini or pesto before. But son, 
this tahini gave it like a like a Thai peanut kind of vibe because you know tahini kind of reminds me of nut butter in a sense so it's like the way everything blends together it just tastes like pure alchemy it's so simple yet profound in like the craziest way because who thinks to mix turmeric quinoa with tahini and pesto <laughs> i'm just grateful honestly to have felt inspired to just create in this moment and just use whatever i had and just allow myself to be guided in the kitchen i really hope that you guys are inspired to just use your kitchen intuition and mix things that you normally wouldn't you never know what will come of it so until next time be sure to like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff and let me know what else you'd like to learn how to make peace and blessings